All right, well, Justin Fields was a Heisman finalist, somebody who knows what it is like to hold up the Heisman Trophy. Florida Gators legend Danny Werfel, who also won basically every other award during his time at Florida. Uh, Danny, thanks so much for joining us here on HQ. Amanda, it's great to be with you. All right, so we're going to talk about some of the top quarterbacks heading into the draft, and we will start with Justin Fields holding his second pro day today. Um, I got to say, out of all of our draft experts right now, the lowest anybody has him going is nine to the Broncos. What is your take on Fields heading into the draft? Uh, I mean, it's hard. I mean, to differentiate between a two or a seven or a nine or twelve. I mean, that that gets so dicey in there. Uh, but he's a tremendous athlete. He's played at the highest level in the highest moments. Great mobility, great accuracy. He's the type of guy that you uh, you don't want to let go because you just you don't want him to come back and, and bite you later down the road if he's playing for another team. Justin Fields holding his second pro day today. North Dakota State quarterback Trey Lance. He's going to have his second one um, tomorrow. Now he doesn't have a lot of starts. 17. That is it in his college career. Our draft expert Ryan Wilson has gone as far to say he could be the best quarterback in this class based on his athleticism, his arm strength, his smarts. Uh, I see you nodding your head there. So, so do you agree with that? How high do you think his ceiling is? Well, I'm not super familiar with him, but he hasn't he hasn't been uh, in those heated moments for so long. He's not like a tested guy like Trevor Lawrence. You've seen Trevor for so long be so consistent. So he, this is one of those you just never know. A great, great talent could end up being a, an amazing player or, or not. So. Uh, you know, he's definitely a, a great athlete, great quarterback. We'll have a, have a future, but that's the risk. You know, you, do you go more on uh, proven what's happened or do you do more on potential? And I think those are the things that these teams are weighing in right now. Danny, I got to ask you about Mac Jones. Um, our, I mentioned Ryan Wilson, our draft expert. He's been preaching for months and months the draft will be higher on Mac Jones than everybody else. And somehow this has caught on. Uh, rumors that he is the favorite to be drafted third overall by the 49ers. Is this something you're buying into? Um, that, would be, that would be a surprise to me. Uh, he, he's an incredible player, has the resume, makes all the throws, moves well, really smart. Um, you know, but that, that's a pretty high rating. Uh, but again, I think where, wherever, wherever he goes, even if it drops a little bit farther down that, he's going to be a real effective player in the NFL. So I'm really excited for him. Uh, he had a great career, seems to be a great young man. So we'll see. Danny Werfel, let's head a little closer home to you. Uh, we talk about the big five when it comes to the quarterbacks in this class. Trevor Lord, Zach Wilson, Matt Jones, Justin Fields, Trey Lance. Somebody who is considered a little bit outside of that. We go to your alma mater, Florida's Kyle Trask. Uh, do you see him or, or just I, I'm sure you watched him a lot. We see his stats there compared to yours. Talk to us about his time at Florida and his future. Well, you know, this is the type of a, a guy, uh, Kyle's a young man that all the way back from high school till now, he, he's he's never been given the respect that I think he's due. And so he's always sort of comes in as the underdog and then outperforms. And I think that's probably what's going to happen here. He's probably going to get drafted lower. Uh, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if, if we talk again, Amanda, five or 10 years from now, uh, if his name's not still in the equation. He, he does some things that are are hard to to really capture with statistics. And you know, the, the the speed in which you can process information is different in which how sort of smart you might be. It's a, it's a speed thing. The ability to to place the ball, not, not just with arm strength, but with touch, to read the defenses. These are things that he has excelled at that are hard to quantify. So when you just watch him throw the ball, uh, you know, he's, he's amazing, but he may not be as amazing as some of these other guys. He's maybe not as quick or as fast, obviously, as some of them. But he's got these intangibles that have always made him, when he gets his chance, be exceptional. So, you know, there's a, there's a couple other quarterbacks, uh, one now that just won a Super Bowl, uh, that didn't come out high in the draft. And, uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if Kyle Trask has a really strong NFL career. Love that. I hope he is hearing that from you. All right. Speaking of Florida, uh, we had the Bash brothers, the Kyle brothers <laughs> this past season, Kyle Trask and Kyle Pitts. It was so fun to watch the both of them. Uh, Kyle Pitts now projected as a top 10 pick. Talk about his talent and how high you think we could see him go. 
Well, he is a unique player. He's an electric player, you know, says he's a tight end, but has tremendous uh, wide receiver type skills. He's a matchup nightmare. And so in this day and age, if you can't cover somebody with one person, that creates a problem. And he's that problem for a lot of teams. And so I'm not surprised he's that high. I mean, I think, I don't know how tall he is, but I think his wingspan is like a foot longer than his height, which is unusual. Uh, so he is just an incredible athlete. And again, he creates so many problems for the defense so my prediction is if he stays healthy he's gonna have one heck of a career what about Darius Tony uh, he's one of those who's kind of on the fringe at the end of round one beginning of round two uh, but an exceptional player what do you think about him well I think his whole time at Florida he was an exceptional playmaker he could just do things I mean, I watch him do moves and my joints would hurt. If I tried to do those things, my body would fall apart. He does things that most people can't do. But what he really did well was this past year, he improved as a wide receiver. He, he learned the, the fundamentals, the route running, worked on his hands and became, in addition to a playmaker, an outstanding receiver. So I think that moves his stock forward. Uh, I'm excited to see what he does. If he gets in the right place with the right team, he could be electric. Really quickly, going back to Kyle Trask, uh, I kind of want to follow up on this because you said you think he's overlooked. Why is that? Well, uh, you know, I think uh, part of it's circumstances in high school, there was another guy that, that was flashy and, and, and played, so he didn't get a play. So he wasn't really recruited high. He gets to Florida and, you know, um, Felipe Franks is, is the starter and is this outstanding athlete and Kyle Trask is solid, but, but you know, he's not as flashy. And so I think... You know, um, NFL scouts, fans, we love to see the biggest arm, the fastest guy, the things you can see. I mean, it's really a lot like life. You know, we can all evaluate certain things with our eyes, but there's always some of these X factors that you can't quantify that in the end, whether you're looking for a job or deciding who you're going to marry or who you're going to draft. Sometimes those are the things in the end of the day that, that went out. And that's what I think Kyle Trask has. All right. I want to talk about um, you here for a second because we mentioned, of course, you won the Heisman Trophy Award. You won basically every other award. And awards just follow you, Danny. And that speaks to your character, who you are. You're the upcoming recipient of the 2021 Wooden Cup. It will be presented at the National College Football Hall of Fame at the end of this month. And this is presented to athletes for their character and leadership on and off the field and that is something you have done your entire life. What does it mean to you to get this award? Well, certainly to, to get a, an award for what you do on the field is significant. And I've been very blessed in my career to have some of those prestigious awards. But, you know, one of the things that matters to me is making a difference in the world to inspire greater service and unity. And so to have an award that recognizes that that says uh, we value that and we want to promote that is very inspiring to me. It's very similar to, I don't know if you can see here, the Werfel Trophy is a college award for community service. And, and we've been promoting this to highlight the great work that young men are doing all over the country. So for me to receive this award for something like that really means a lot, especially at this this point in my life, um, you know, a lot of the other things happened so many years ago. So, you know, this is something that my kids uh, might notice uh, and, and appreciate as well. Well, not just your kids. I'm sure a lot of people who still look up to you uh, and just, you know, having that platform, it's so important to use it. Dana Werfel, thanks you so much for joining us here on CBS Sport HQ and going through those quarterbacks and a couple of your guys there at Florida. All right, so taking a look at Ryan Wilson's latest mock draft there, of course, we got the big five, the quarterbacks we're talking about as of right now, all going within the top eight. Ryan Wilson's latest mock draft has the Washington football team trading up to eight to snag Trey Lance. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.